Get, get, get up I was like, I was like Three chicken wing with the fried rice I be like, I was like Three chicken wing with the fried rice I be like, I was like Three chicken wing with the fried rice I be like, I was like Three chicken wing with the fried rice I was gonna throw shade. I was like, "Where the fuck are you going?" She's going outside. Like, no, no, I didn't compliment her. But then I was, no, I did. I just said I would never. All right, y'all ready? Yes, sir. Best part in seven five seven. Just another podcast. Yeah, you're fired, Lydia. It's episode fifty. We have to. She ain't changed the number on the episode. All the things that I write. And you bitch at me because I sometimes forget episode to switch the numbers. You haven't changed it in like three weeks. Episode Quarter 16. of a well, half a episode, episode 50. 50. This is a big deal. It is. Clap damn. it up for the pot. I feel like it's been long. I feel like it's been long. 50 <laughs> episodes? God damn. I'd have like, been quit on you now. I feel like it's been longer than that. <laughs> shit is tough. This is not thought easy. thought about it a few times. <laughs> yeah, look, this is not easy. We've come a long way. <laughs> You come a hey. long way. Also, also, I am a black man type ish. Mm-hmm. Like, I thought, I, I thought about texting our old pop member. Like, <laughs> oh, oh, like, like yeah. Rick and Silent? Uh, I've just been like, hey, bro. Because it, it's all love. I text y'all. I, it's all, it ain't all it's, love, but it's like, it's, it's no hard. It's like, thanks for leaving. Right? It's, no, it's no hard feelings. Nah, nah, no it's hard like, feelings. at the end of the day, nah. we're both black men. So it's yeah, like, right. I ain't not here to, te- so nice. I ain't preach, not here to tear you down. That shit. Facts, I facts, appreciate facts. the gesture, but like, that's what I've been feeling like doing lately. So I mm. might do that. That's good energy, okay. bro. Mend them fences, y'all. That's good energy. Oh, All right, man. let me do this intro. Best Pond 757. Yeah. Just another podcast episode 50. Like, subscribe, hit the bell. Mm. We got a lot of people here. We got a lot going on in the world. Mm-hmm. Yeah. These are, this is, the revolution is upon us, I feel like. That's right. Some real yeah, shit going great on. Awakening. Right. My man Koi's in the back yeah. doing some semi-directing. Yeah. Ava's on the cameras. Lydia's here. We don't know where she's going after the pod. It <laughs> Baitlin is here. She wasn't with us last week. Chris Featherston. Make sure you say the Featherston. Casey from the Compass Circle. Hey. No substance, Dean. We got... Virginia Beach officer Drew on the couch with us today. What's up, fam? And his lovely yes. lady Naomi is here That's to support. Right, We're going to pod today. We are. We got some real shit. I can't even not say it. Real shit going on in the world. That's say right. it like it is. Um, real shit. And we want to get your perspective of not only being a, the boys in blue, you know what I mean, but being a black man and an officer. And then we're going to talk a little bit about like just how the climate now today. And where we think it's going, and like it. hopefully we get deep. Let's rock. Hey, let him know he don't speak for all cops. Oh, yeah, thank yeah. you for qualifying that. Yeah. This <laughs> man is not for all. He is not the only police officer ever. He don't make all the rules. This is his perspective, is and that's it. He don't speak for he all. He drew the first, bro. Yeah, he's drew first. Mm-hmm. That's exactly. a good. Let's lead right into the first question. How do you feel being an officer? Like he said, you're drew first. You're a black man, but then you're an officer. So, you know, personally, as an officer, you know, it's not the first thing I wanted to do. Mm -hmm. Um, Honestly, I wanted to be an architect. Um, But situations that happened in my life were what turned me to want to become a police officer and help others. So when I was in eighth grade, I ended up being homeless with my mom. Mm -hmm. Uh, We were living on the streets, house to house, uh, hotel to hotel. And one day, shit just happened to turn for the worse. Um, So I was in lunch. At, at school and I didn't eat lunch so I had the money for it um, girlfriend broke up with me and there was this dude that was just being an asshole to me and so I was trying to separate myself from him because I was trying to be the bigger person mm-hmm. right? and then as I'm going to walk away from this dude he hits me in the back of the head so five seconds I sat there and I registered that shit and I was like <laughs> <laughs> this nigga just hit me <laughs> okay alright so I turned around and I commenced whooping his ass. Okay. So um, I, I whooped his ass and officer, the SRO for the school, he came and planked me out. Uh, he put he put a taser to my back. He was like, you move, I'm gonna tase you. I was like, all right, bet, I ain't moving. I'm gonna stay, I'm gonna stay right here. So I didn't move. Um, the good thing was is that he knew my family. Um, he was a black officer himself. Mm-hmm. Um, so he took me out the back of the school, walked me to his office and he was like, hey, this is, this is out of character for you. What's going on? Um, I told him what was going on. Um, at first, I was hesitant because I'm like, well, he's an officer. He's got to tell somebody else what's going on in my life, and that can get me taken away from my mom. So that's yeah. one, of the, one of the things that black, black children in America sometimes have to worry about is, oh, if I say something, I'm going to get taken away from my parents. Mm-hmm. And I didn't want that to happen to my mom because I was thinking about my mom first. I wasn't thinking about me. Um, 
so I told him eventually, uh, initially, and you know he kept it between us, which you know I think thank him for that. Um, and from that from that day forward, I was kind of like, all right, I'm gonna be a police officer to, to make that difference in someone else's life that may need that help. That's a dope origin story. Yeah, and I, I like the aspect. So because he was an officer that knew you. He was somebody kind of police in his community. I think sometimes that's the officers that we deal with on a the regular. They're not from where we're from. They don't know us. So that adds to the threat level and exactly. all the other things that we have to deal with. Whereas, you know, and I ain't going to lie. Most of the time when I've had run-ins with the police, the officers that look like me have given me the hardest time. I'm going to ask you about that in a little bit. Mm. But they didn't know me from a can of paint. And they right. did give me, like, I've actually had better breaks with, you know, white, white officers. officers for, yeah. A black officer t- cuffs me tighter. Treat me different, you know, and I'm I'm I don't, I'm not a super threat, <laughs> not like that. So <laughs> you know, <laughs> I, I can speak a little bit on it now. So the majority of inter- interactions with police officers, you can say probably about seventy five percent of them are good, decent. But you're gonna have that one officer that's that asshole that's gonna give you shit about it. Mm-hmm. Okay, black officers they're probably gonna give you more shit about it because they expect better from you, they expect mm-hmm. more from you. I can't say that for every other officer. I'm not going to treat you any different from this person or this person. I'm going to treat everybody the same mm-hmm. because in that way, at the end of the day, I can say I did my job and I did it to well to, to how I expect someone to be treat someone to treat me. So I'm not going to be like, oh yeah, just because you're black, I'm going to be either harder on you or I'm going to be more lenient on you. Same thing, you're white, okay? I don't have any anything against you. I don't have anything against this person. I'm going to treat you all the same. So that way, at the end of the day, like I said, I treat everybody the same. If you treat me with respect, I'll treat you with respect. If you treat me like an asshole, I'ma still treat you with respect. Till our interaction's done, I'll be like, after the end, I'ma probably talk to my partner and be like, man, that dude was an asshole. Yeah. But at the end of the day, it's all about being professional in front of the citizens, you know, because as as police officers, we're held to a higher standard, and that's that standard, mm-hmm. you know, it continues to fluctuate a lot um, in our society, and right now the standard is to the moon and back. Because yeah. right now there are, you know, like any in any profession, there are bad apples. In our profession, we, there we would expect there not to be bad apples because, you know, we have the right to Chris kill Rock someone. Chris said y'all can't have no bad apples. Exactly. <laughs> so, Rock. y'all see that joke? Oh uh, yeah, Chris. Huh? Not oh right. no, Chris Rock said he was like, you know, some police police officers oh, can't yeah. have bad apples. He said like, I can't get on a plane with United, and they be like, well. Most of our pilots like the <laughs> right. land. But some of them, <laughs> yeah, you know, no. yeah. You, you you wouldn't feel that way. That's a public service, which which I agree. So yeah. there shouldn't be any bad apples, right? Correct. Just like in a doctor's perspective, there shouldn't be any bad apples there because people die. Yeah. Um, their life is in someone's hands. Same thing for us. You know, we're not always put into that life and death situation. But the time we are, it can it can be a, a very changing moment. Um, but again, like like you said. There shouldn't be any bad apples. Yeah. And so us as good officers, some of them speak out. Some of them don't. But when you have um, a system that has been set in place for years, I mean, decades. Cent- centuries. Yeah. Centuries. Yeah. Exactly. I, I was building it up. Yeah. Building it up. <laughs> 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 Let's get right to it. <laughs> so um, when, you, when you have a system that's been you know set here for a long, long time, I mean, it's, it's hard to change. It's going to be very hard to change. And right now, everybody's demanding change right now. Right now. Mm-hmm. Right now, yes, that's good because change is going to happen a little bit faster. But, again, it's still a, a gigantic system that is going to take a little while to change. Um, us bad, us, us good officers, excuse me, are speaking out against the bad officers, such as the one in Minneapolis, mm-hmm. who decided to take a man's life for no unjust reason. So, okay, so you're talking about, and one of our questions is, do you hold other officers accountable? It sounds like you do. But then you also reference to the officer that killed the man and not the three others that sat there so, and watched. So, in my personal opinion, all four of them are equally guilty. Okay. Okay. Um, I'm not going to say this one deserves more than the other one. However, if you look at the criminal justice system itself, one is going to get more than the other. Okay. Mm-hmm. So, it's not like a situation where here, if I were to get my buddies and we rob a bank together and I shoot somebody and kill somebody, we're all going to be held to the same standard. Facts. So everybody is going to get found guilty of murder, of robbery, armed robbery, all that other stuff. Facts. Mm-hmm. But in Minneapolis's case, they have different laws. So I know initially they just started with 
they're going to charge him with murder three yeah. and manslaughter. Yeah. So they upped they upped it to murder two. Yep. Murder two requires intent. If he had a really good attorney, he could beat that case. I was about to ask I was gonna ask y'all how y'all felt about that. A so lot of people are celebrating it, but I kinda was A lot of people are celebrating it and I, I wish they would actually oh, sit down and look at the facts of hey, you have to prove intent. In murder two, you have to prove intent, no matter what. That's that's one thing that's the easiest thing to beat in a murder two case. If you don't have that, luckily for Minneapolis, they can drop it back down to murder three, and he can still get the charge. Okay, yeah. he can still get he can still be charged with murder, regardless. That's one thing I didn't know. I didn't know like you can shoot high and then land low. Some so cases yeah, you can't, so you can't so for that, so for most states, quick. you can shoot high, and if you miss the ball, that's it. Yeah, mm-hmm. but for Minneapolis, you can shoot high, and if you miss the ball. You can hit. You can get the. Okay, charge. I didn't know that. To answer Chris, Chris' question, I don't think they gonna charge him with nothing. <laughs> I think he. Yo, I, 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 I hope. I, I don't hope know. Do. I, it off. Uh, he gonna have to now that he something. said that, I have a little more. I feel a little better about it. But maybe with. If he gets off, he needs witness protection. If he so, gets off, so personally, he gets off. So personally, pop. As a cop and a black man, I think that he's definitely gonna get charged because with, with everything three, going though, on, third degree. Probably, it's probably at the very least, he's gonna be third degree. I don't think they're going to get second, mm-hmm. but he's definitely going to get third. And it's not because, you know, oh, yeah, we're looking through all the evidence. We're looking at all the facts. It's because everything that's going on in the country, you have to you have to prove justice. Like, you have to start. If I choke one of y'all for eight minutes and I say I didn't mean to, <laughs> exactly, I'm exactly. going to jail forever. Exactly. Mm-hmm. So I can tell you the reason why the two, two other officers didn't speak up were because they had just started their training mm-hmm. with – him as a senior officer okay so if i'm sitting there and my training officer is telling me no you you're not moving he's got the street experience right i'm typically not going to speak out against that right. but in in your own mind in your own decision you have to make your own decision so if you like okay this is not right we should probably do something and then he's like nope sit down it's, it's, oh, I think they're you had people out there witnessing this, like, hey, stop, exactly. stop. Exactly. Let's and that's, not forget about that aspect. And, that, and that's exactly why I think it's he's at the, at the very time. least going to get murdered. Yeah, we gave a you a time. microphone. I know, but it's, <laughs> it's a different time. Like, yeah. statues is coming down and all kind of countries. We're going to talk about yep. that, too. This stuff is happening. So not only is it, it – it's, it, it's a hallmark moment as to if he's going to be charged. Okay, he's been charged, technically. technically. That's not the justice. Yeah. The right. justice sure. is getting him mm-hmm. – Put Convicted. in prison. Yes. Right. Okay. Um, so I can I can understand when they're still chanting no justice, no peace. Um, but going across the country, blaming other officers for it. That's where I kind of differentiate. And that's right. that's almost why I, I find issue because y'all call it a brotherhood, but when you do stuff like this, it makes it harder for your brothers. You know what exactly. I'm saying? When you do stuff like this, it makes it harder for you to go out and do what you need to do peacefully now exactly. more than ever. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So. I wanted to ask you, and I know this is kind of like a, a tricky question, but if you could rationalize how him sitting on him for eight minutes as best as you could, what would you say? Like, what Correct. would there is no rationalization for that? Okay. There is yeah, there at is what no point did he break protocol, and how do y'all get penalized for that internally? Because a lot of times cops do stuff, and you see they get off, and nothing happens to them. And they're protected by the department. So mm-hmm. what penalties is it when he broke protocol? Because he did it when he took him out of the vehicle, I feel like. Okay. So I don't know what the call for service was um, in terms of this case and how he came across it. Oh, something it. about a $20 bill. Yeah. So he, he, uh, he tried to pass a, a fake, a counterfeit $20 bill. Well, it wasn't. Uh, allegedly. Okay, right. Alleged- it was allegedly it was checks. It was so allegedly a $10 right. bill. He checks it. I heard everything. He checks it. And apparently I, he was being cooperative. Um, they go to take him in custody. Um, once they take him in custody, they're going to put him in the car. And I guess he doesn't want to get in the car. And then that's where it goes to the ground, and they're all on top of him. So in my department, they do not teach you to do any sort of chokehold right. whatsoever. Unless it is a deadly force situation to where that's all you got left. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. At that point, it's survival. But at no point... <laughs> in my rationalization or in any department's rationalization, should you have your knee on someone's neck for eight minutes? Because mm-hmm. at that point, you have four officers on him. He's handcuffed. He's under control yeah. for the most part. You would consider him neutralized. I would consider him neutralized. Mm-hmm. And at that point, if you're waiting for other officers to help get him up and get him in the car, mm-hmm. fine, cool, but not on his neck. 
Right. That point, get him up, get him in the car, make sure he doesn't need any medical attention, and then you continue to do your job. So as soon as he goes unconscious for two minutes and fifty three seconds, unresponsive. You guys are trained to we're trained resuscitate to, people and we are trained so if I if I were to get into a deadly force shooting and I shoot somebody because he's shooting at me, first thing I have to do once that threat is ended, mm-hmm. I have to render aid. Yeah, because mm-hmm. you're first Is responder. that a real thing, though? I mean, I know it's a real thing because they mm-hmm. teach you that. But at the same time, if somebody's shooting, tr- trying to shoot you, you're shooting them, mm-hmm. then you're supposed to give them yeah, you what? Yeah. Resuscit- them out? I mean, yeah. how does that work? So right? you're still at, at, the end of, at the end of the day, a part of our oath is for the preservation of life. Uh, yeah. You know, we're yeah, supposed yeah. to protect That's and serve. A big one. So if I shoot somebody... I can't be thinking, oh, tunnel vision, tunnel vision. Let me let me Shoot break that you. and yeah. let me go to him to make sure he's all right. So first, I'm gonna kick the gun away, make sure yeah, it's yeah, yeah. safe, so he doesn't pop up and shoot me. I'm gonna make sure it's safe, and then I'm going to render aid to him. So I, if I have to plug twelve holes, I gotta plug twelve holes. Does that in your mind? Does that like when you're out and about and you're not in uniform, right? Mm-hmm. Has that trained your mind differently? It's almost like a babysitter. You're watching kids, and you know kids are going to get into stuff, so you can't really go into it like malicious I want to get you back mm-hmm. because you do have to save life right is that like a thing for you for me no when I'm at work I'm at work you know I, I have to do my job uh, I have to I took my oaths so I'm there to serve the community okay when I'm at home I try to be at home mm-hmm. I try not to be in that mindset to where I'm looking all around all the time because at the end of the day I want to be able to enjoy myself when I'm not at work so when I go to work I'm not stressed the hell out right. yeah um, and that's, that's that's personally me. A lot of officers they do like to you know to blow off steam. I personally I just I go home and if I feel like painting, I feel like doing something else mm-hmm. that's constructive to keep my mind off of work and what's going on in society. Would you would you recommend therapy for cops and stuff like that? Have you have you noticed a change in your mental since you? How, how long have you been a cop? I've been a cop for about four years. Okay. okay. Have you noticed a change in your mentality since you so, started? Yeah, there, there's definitely, you definitely, this job, uh, excuse me, this job, uh, <laughs> <laughs> this job definitely changes you. Um, mm-hmm. Some for the better, some for the worse. Mm-hmm. Um, it's because of your different interactions, your different experiences, and what you see on a day to day basis. Um, so I can definitely say after May 31st, 2019, every officer in the city of Virginia Beach was changed. Yeah, I was about to ask sure. you about that. Every, every single officer. And so the fact that we ended up having a riot on the same day, a year from mm-hmm. that that happening. Oh, that's it, crazy. Yeah, it, it sucks. Um, so not only are we are under emotional turmoil, but we also have to deal with that. We have to suck it up, and we have to deal with mm-hmm. what was going on at the ocean front. Um, so, yes, 100% this job changes you. Um, for me, I feel like it's given me more experience just in life in general, and I've been able to talk to people more constructively in a better light to help them and see what they need in order to provide the best service to them. Um, Do you have there ever ahead. been things that you like things that you can't unsee, like things that you couldn't shake when you got home yeah. from work? Uh, yeah. Um, dead body is definitely one of them um so it it was it was kind of a case that needed to be handled a different way uh so i can't give you you know too many details on it because obviously it's still ongoing but basically it was a domestic case where she ended up killing her her boyfriend and she you know took the, the means to get rid of his body um and so i was there from when we found the body to when we unwrapped the body to when the OCME's office took the body away. Yeah. Um, and the, it's the sight as well as the smell that gets to you. Mostly mm-hmm. the smell. And it's stuff that you you won't forget. Like, it's it, it gets etched in the back of your head. Um, anything that deals with kids as cops, anything that deals with kids, because at that point they're helpless. They can't always understand what's going on around them. So if you're sitting there doing something to a kid, you, you get you, you get like any other human, you get frustrated. Yeah. But we have to we have to hold that back in order to help the child the most. So um, I want to yeah. ask you off of that: Is this your first? Yes, first child. How is that changing you already? As far as from your mindset out there, I, I gotta go home. Yeah, I, yeah. that's yeah. at the end of the day, I gotta go home. Um, so um, she she was freaking out, you know, because all our days off were canceled. 
um, for the past two weeks. So I've been nothing out work, just been at work, at work, at work. And this was the week I was planning on painting the nursery. So um, it, it sucked. So I was like, ah, man. But at the end of the day, I got to get home. So dealing with kids now is going to be mean a lot more because I'm going to have one of my own. Mm-hmm. So we have three. We have three German shepherds. So it's like okay. God damn. Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We have three German shepherds. So they're, 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 you <laughs> no, no, no. no, not not at this point. So um, it's they're like having kids. So I'm like okay, but now that I'm actually having a real child, um, yeah, it's definitely definitely going to change my perspective a lot. So, have you ever worked in the canine unit? No. So <laughs> I'm say, do you want to? <laughs> our, our canine unit is extremely hard to get on, and most people that go there, they actually probably retire there. Oh wow! Um, okay. it, it it's not a cheap program by any means because each canine is about thirty grand. Yeah, because um, they're imported from European countries. Um, oh, all these special dogs. And then yeah, <laughs> these special dogs. So they get them. They usually get them with their pups. Um, and then the, that officer has to go through canine, um, the canine school. And after the canine school, you have to train with your dog for three months, nothing less, mm. um, in order to get them acclimated to your commands, your voice how you how you are out in the field with them and then while you have them you're still continuously training every day so i thought about it before i joined the department now i'm here i'm like uh probably not probably not uh, especially since i have three other shepherds at home so you made a reference i'm sorry to something earlier that we kind of glazed over mm-hmm. Um, especially here in Virginia Beach, we don't have a, I'm not going to say we don't have a lot of crime because it's crime everywhere, mm-hmm. but we definitely don't have a situation where people walk in buildings and just shoot up the whole place. And right. the police department is in that municipal center. Mm-hmm. Um, how did that change you guys? So it, it changed us a lot because some of the people that had to respond into that building, um, they're, they're scarred, um, both emotionally and, and visually because, you know, seeing what they saw in that building. I, I personally, I didn't respond inside the building, um, but I tried to do everything I could in order to help other people. So um, as a personal officer myself, uh, I remember seeing the email, and at the time I was detailing my car. So I, I saw the email, and I just stopped. I just, I just froze. I was like, what the hell is going on? Um, I, at first, I didn't think it was real. Because we we stuff like that just kind of as an officer that in in a city that it's never happened in before never, ever right you wouldn't uh, we we expect okay it's probably gonna happen eventually it's sad to say it's probably gonna happen eventually but we don't know when we don't know where we don't know who yeah. so when you get the email saying active it's shooter today. were you at work that day no you were detailing your car I was detailing my car so when you get the email saying active shooter everybody hunkered down in place like all the like citizens uh on the citizen side everybody hunker down police officers are flying in from the rest of the entire city to get to this to to this case um Mm -hmm. so once they get on scene they get you know they finally go inside um you have one person who's dead outside you go inside and there's people just littered throughout the hallway um blood everywhere it's 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 life altering um so me personally as a cop you know, I was like, oh, well, I got to do something to try to help. So I organized a car show, and in that one car show for I think it was nine hours, we raised twenty eight thousand dollars, over twenty eight thousand dollars for the families of the victims to help them with burial, you know, costs and everything mm-hmm. like that. Um, so even though I wasn't in the building, it still changed me. Um, and again, you know, we train for the worst, but we hope for the best. So. At this point, our training has changed, and we're trying to be top-notch in every aspect of our department. Um, I don't know if that answers your question or not. But. No, are there, are oh, yeah, there areas that, like now today, you still see room for improvement? Oh, without a doubt, without a doubt. So um, with our department, we have what's called a field training program. Um, so you go through the six-month cat. Well, you go through the hiring process, which mine took in itself, in and of itself a year. So you, you submit your application, you get your hire letter. As soon as you get your hire letter, you get your start date for your academy. Your academy is six months long. Um, so in that six months, uh, you go through hell. You learn a lot. You, I mean, you're just going through death by PowerPoint a lot. But you're also going through scenarios to actually play it out to see, okay, 
this is what I learned, this is how I can apply it. And if you don't get it, you fail the scenario. So you fail a scenario three times, you're out, you're done. That's it. Um, you have uh, an academic achievement level that you cannot go below. If you go below that, you're, you're done, you're fired. And then on top of that, you have other stuff that you have to abide by, you know, because it's still kind of like military training. We're less militaristic than Norfolk, per se, but we still have that aspect to, you know, hey, yeah, you know, we're on a schedule. We have to, you have to learn this. We have to teach you this. So after that, um, you graduate and you go through what's the field training program. Um, and so that's another 16 weeks. And that's if you don't have to be remediated. That's if you don't have to go through remediation. So if you're performing like you're supposed to, then you're going to succeed and continue to succeed. And then you're eventually going to be out on the street on your own. Um, if you don't, then obviously we remediate you. Um, you go through it again and again and again until we're just like, all right, this you're probably not for this job. It's not cutting cutting it for you. Mm -hmm. And then you go through a board, and then after that board, they determine whether or not you get a little bit more training, or if you get cut and you're done. Um, so, in my personal opinion, I cr became a police training officer to help shape the future of new officers, okay. so that they come out on the street and okay. they know what they're doing from perspective not only me being an officer but me being a black man and having to be empathetic and sympathetic to towards other people i mean because you know you see it and you're like okay that probably shouldn't have happened all right let me go tell someone else so i i speak up for those who don't speak up for themselves um i when i see somebody not doing what they're supposed to be doing i give them shit and i'm like hey you, you either correct this or i'm gonna correct it for you so do you feel so like the normal citizens, civilians, and the police, there's a social contract there, mm -hmm. right? We, we agree not to go out here and shoot up a school. You mm -hmm. agree to protect and serve. Um, people are obviously rioting, looting, protesting. It's been all over the world. This mm -hmm. first time in the history of protest, all 50 states, they're doing it in, everywhere across the world. Right. Do you feel that the social contract between civilians and law enforcement has been broken and then is there a way to repair it other than i think they they gotta convict these guys all of all four of them oh yeah or it's gonna be some shit so the social contract is not only i want to say it's been broken but it's it's ever changing mm -hmm. so we have to change the way we police um because you know you never know who you're encountering at, at any given point um and you never know what they're going through in that moment so Going through academy, um, we're taught that sometimes, most days, you're meeting somebody on their work, some of the, one of some, one of the worst days of their life. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. so treat it like that, and you should hopefully get through that situation and help them. Um, so, yes, the social contract has been broken because we're all finding good for peaceful protests. Um, but when you start rioting and looting, we have to turn on that mm -hmm. and we have to protect the citizen the not, not the citizens but the city as well as the citizens okay so we can't so say we have a crowd of 700 people and there's 50 people there that came in with the attention oh we're gonna riot we're gonna loot we're gonna we're gonna take what we want mm -hmm. we can't as a department go in and pick those 50 people out even though we want to because we want you all to still be able to peacefully protest but we can't do that because at that point we don't know who is who right. so we have to yeah. con contain and then we have to control and then we have to make sure everyone gets home safely so sunday uh down at the oceanfront yeah. it got it got pretty crazy and businesses were destroyed stuff was taken um but everybody went home that night mm -hmm. um this past um protest on Saturday from Mount Trashmore to Town Center. Absolutely peaceful. Absolutely beautiful. Over a thousand people. Over well over a thousand people. And I was like, wow, that was moving. To 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 be at the position that I was at and to see it coming from Mount Trashmore to the Fountain of Town Center, it was absolutely amazing. And nothing was destroyed. Nothing. Hmm. That was great. Um so personally I think so there was a separate group from Black Lives Matter uh, 757 that may have gotten there and they all had the wholehearted intention to just destroy stuff because mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. you could see it 
the the Black Lives Matter seven five seven feed as it was live on Facebook, officers in Virginia Beach they took the knee, and then you see a separate group mm-hmm. kind of break off, and then next thing you know, oh they're gassing us. Yeah. I heard I, about that. Yeah. So I can't say whether or not you know someone in the crowd threw gas first, but that is the speculation because. We don't just randomly start gassing people. And y'all be careful who y'all follow on Instagram and social media, yeah. man, because a lot of people are posing as these groups, and then y'all show up. And I heard of an incident where they sh- people showed up for it, and they just gassed them out of nowhere, all the people that showed up, because they were going under the Black Lives Matter name. Because you followed the wrong hashtag. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so, um, yeah, definitely, I, I definitely want to say that it was, it was probably more than two different crowds there with two different agendas. Mm-hmm. One had the peaceful protest. One was like, "Are oh, we going to destroy stuff?" So, yeah. um, it just makes y'all's job harder. Exactly. So, I like I said, I like to be able to pick out those fifty people and just be like, "Y'all can continue and have y'all's protest, but we can't do that because again, we we have a job that we have Them to anarchists, do." Anarchists, man. And I think mm-hmm. sometimes though, like say on the news, uh, we we don't see a lot of the peaceful stuff mm-hmm. shown. We'll see some of it. But we'll see, like, that 75-year-old man that got pushed mm-hmm. to the ground. Mm-hmm. And they just sad. walked by him. That was, yeah, I was like, legs yeah. crossed, thought he was going to die. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. And, but we see that, and that's going to make certain groups want to go do certain things. And mm-hmm. you know, Exactly. Like I said, it is a contract between mm-hmm. you and I that I'm going to come out here, and I want to protest. I want to do it peacefully. I want to go home. Mm-hmm. I got a baby on the way, too. I got to get home. Exactly. And you, you have to do the same. So I feel where you're coming from. My cousin, who typed this in here? Rubber bullets. Oh, yeah, that was me. Them I saw stuff in here. I, did I send it to y'all? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I've, I've seen, seen it. In the chat. Yeah, yeah okay. about where it's like cracking really people's cool. skull and people mm-hmm. are dying and because some police officers are shooting them like directly at people from short range and shit like that. Mm. Like, can you speak on that as to how they're supposed well, to? Well, let be me let me intercept her question real quick because mine's gonna go with hers. Mm-hmm. So I'm gonna get in conjunction with her question, but so there's all these different instances where we see these. Uh, repeat offender mm-hmm. officers, right? Mm-hmm. Even the guy that killed George Floyd just said he had like multiple 18, incidents, yep. right? Yep. This happens a lot. Mm-hmm. Now that makes sense because if I don't have, if I got 8 billion people on the planet and let's say 1% are cops, then typically if you F up, I'm gonna still have to put you out there. Mm-hmm. But at the same token, you kind of dangerous. I'm so like, question too. you know, even with her thing question. with the rubber bullets, I don't want somebody that's had five other incidents mm. Yeah, shooting me with a rubber bullet. Mm-hmm. So can you talk a little bits. bit about that. They're huge. Well, both our points. I mean, she was talking about the rubber bullets, but I'm talking about the person. So, shooting just like so those. personally, like I said, um, I like to hold other officers accountable. So if you got that track record, you know, um, so anytime that somebody provides a complaint to a department, they go through an IA investigation, and if it's founded, then you know they they either it, it start it, it's on a scale. So it starts with um, you know, like a written reprimand, then it starts with, it, it escalates to something else. If it happens again, then it escalates to a suspension, and then eventually they go before a board. Is that per time or per occurrence? So, like per incident, over no, no, no. Lady, so, so per incident, it, depending on what the incident okay, is, right. um, it, it, it'll lead, it'll go up this scale. However, I'm not saying, oh, yeah, you push over to a 75 year old person and they start bleeding from the back of their head. Right. That it should be, oh, yeah, right. written reprimand, go ahead. Uh, no, it should be, you know, exactly what is happening in Buffalo. Officers are arrested for it. I mean, because. They, that, uh, but uh, a lot of them, they said if you don't quit, we're not going to support. You'll want how to support of the. Um, mm-hmm. What's the group? I don't know. It's on the top of my head. It was like 50 some cops quit. Yeah, the ERT, the yeah. uh, yeah. emergency response team. Yeah. Um, yeah, so after they were, you know, being. Mm-hmm. Charged um, the other officers, they were like, "No, we're done. We quit." But I'm like, "Okay, there's a difference between, you know, a 25 year old and you push him and they may s- stumble back. That's a 75 year old man, and you you shoved him with a, a pretty decent amount of force, and then you yeah. walk past him. I get it. Your supervisor pushed you past one, him. One of them tried to. One of them tried to that stop. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That was a green suit. Exactly. Everybody okay. else in that uniform that he had on walked right past that man. Yeah. So you had the one guy who tried to render aid to him, like we're trained, and then got right behind him, pushed him right past him. Was like keep going, and then he called for. I'm assuming he called for um, medical personnel. I don't know. Again, like I wasn't. I wasn't there. But I saw the video and I'm like, well, yeah, it's you can interpret it this way, and then there's one way that it happens, and then there's your everyone else's interpretation. So, 
Um, personally, if like I, I said, if I get a speeding if, ticket, though, y'all going to find me. It's going to be all kind of things. <laughs> I, no, there's no monetary nothing that goes with any of these issues nothing it's like you, you get a detention slip and That's we're gonna I'm put saying. you right back out there Eternally, yeah so punishments don't match so i can say for virginia beach department um that internally are if you do something stupid they're gonna hem you up okay and then eventually you're gonna get fired um because that's how strict our department is, is they're not gonna sit there and let you get away with a whole bunch of stuff like speeding okay everyone does it okay but we have a black box in the car we're going to monitor that and if you continue to speed and then you eventually hit somebody and you crash well you might as well check yourself out of the department because you're gone um you getting into a deadly force situation where it's not warranted you're going to be fired from the department you're going to be charged and then you can still be sued civilly by the family and anyone else involved so the depart our department is mostly transparent and I can I can honestly say that because as soon as any officer is arrested, they immediately tell the news channels. Like, mm-hmm. hey, this officer was arrested, this is what it's for, blah blah blah. So, um holding officers accountable, it's different in every department. So Virginia Beach has been has changed a lot. Um not since I've been here because it, it's changed before I got here. Um, but I can definitely say that they, they hold people accountable. Um, in terms of the rubber bullets, I know Virginia Beach, we don't have, um, we have what's called a sage, um, which it's a, it's a rubber baton. Um, so it's mm. probably about EA big, um, about EA round. Um, but we, we're we supposed hurt. to aim for the meaty parts of the body. So it looks like a damn grenade launcher, but it's not. Um, so the it's like a, a metal, metal shell, and then the rubber baton is put inside of it. So you put it in, in the tube. As soon as you hit it, the only thing that comes out is the rubber tube, uh, the, the rubber uh, baton. Mm-hmm. So you're supposed to aim for the meaty parts of the body, but if somebody moves and I'm aiming for the meaty part of the body and they get hit in a sensitive area, I can't really gauge that after they, they move. Right. So unfortunately... Y'all can't just use paintballs? <laughs> yeah, it's a, you mean it's a rubber <laughs> baton that launcher? That's what you mean? <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's not like, no that's like a oh, real okay. weapon, bro. What, what do you say, yes. what do you okay. say to the, uti- the utility belt argument? Like, when we see people getting shot, people are always like, why didn't he tase them? Why didn't he mace them? Why didn't he do all this? So there's an escalation of force. Um, there's a pyramid. That's how we're trained uh, for this escalation. Um, depending on the situation, um, you can go from your OC which is the pepper spray. Um, you have your ass baton, which you don't technically have to have on your belt. Um, it's a metal baton that comes out. Um, you have your taser, which we have certain situations that we can use it. Uh, we can't just pull it out and be like, oh, yeah, I'm going to tase you. No, they have to be assaultive. They have to be coming mm-hmm. towards us. We can't just be like, oh, well, you got a knife to it in her throat. I, I can't necessarily tase her because if I tase her and she lands on a knife, mm-hmm. it looks really bad on me. Mm-hmm. So... Um, we have that escalation of force, and then we have, obviously, our handgun, um, and then hands-on. So, at, th- at the very least is your, your hands-on, and at the very most is your, your firearm. Um, and then between there is the sage, um, because the sage is considered less lethal, but if you hit a sensitive area, you can probably kill someone, mm. without a doubt. Um, if you're in a certain, dis- certain amount of distance... And you hit them in a sensitive area, you could most definitely probably kill someone. Mm. Um, but if you do that, they're going to ask you why, and if you can't tell them why, then you're more than likely going to be fired, charged, and then probably charged civilly. Um, I know. I know this is a sensitive topic, one. But you, you ever had a scrap? I have. I have. Yeah. I, have, I, have I have gotten into a fight or two. You got into some some like good good ones. Um, like a, I don't know. <laughs> so, I mean, so usually people try to gauge you. They'll they'll try and size you up, and most people they rather not fight me. I'm just like, hey, all right, man. Oh, I'll so, keep telling them, like, oh, hey, I see you looking at me, bro. This don't try it. I, I, so I, I mean, I'll, I'll hit him with a straight up. I'm like, bro, I, I I can see you. You're either looking at fight <laughs> or flight, and I promise you, you don't want to fight me. So um, they'll usually reevaluate and be like, oh, all right, all right. Have you had to chase somebody? In a car or on foot? On foot. Yes, I have. What's your thought process when um, you're chasing someone? Is it just to catch them or are you thinking like, this person taking me? So, you know what I'm saying? There's a lot of stuff that might be so, running through your mind. First of all, do you even know they're going to run? 
Like he's gonna tell like oh, you you can you can tell the people that are that probably gonna be like oh hell no I'm getting the hell out of here yeah. or all right I'm gonna turn around I'm gonna fight this guy so um we kind of look at the situation so if I'm chasing someone it's to catch them it's to apprehend them right. if they're running they're running for their life mm. in terms of I'm running to get the hell away so I don't either get charged with something or I don't get into an altercation um so I've chased people um. I've caught them, uh, and I've let them know, hey, man, look, I, I get it, you ran, but here, here's the situation, here's what's going on. You're being detained at this point in time. I don't know what you did. We're going to talk about it. We're going to get through this. Um, and then there's the situations where you obviously know what they did because you see it. Um, so, yes, I've gotten to, to fights. I've gotten into foot pursuits. I've gotten into vehicle pursuits, and all of them for different reasons. Um, but at the end of the day, if it's too dangerous, then we're, we're going to stop it. Because mm. I know back in um, more one of our more rough parts of Virginia Beach. Um, what part is what that? Rough, <laughs> what, what part? There's some rough parts of Virginia Beach. Dove Landon, what part? Y'all sleep. There's government housing. Carriage house apartments. So, so, so in Lake Edwards, rough, they you if you were in a foot pursuit with somebody, they used to set out they used to set out trip wires in the the alleyways. So if you're running after somebody, they jump over it. You don't see it. You trip. You you eat shit. Um, oh, they were setting it out yeah. for y'all. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. yeah. So uh, they would literally set booby traps. Um, you come around the corner and they'd smack shit out of you with a piece of wood. <laughs> what? Yeah, I'm yeah. not yeah. laughing. Yeah, yeah. Um, and there was even actually a, a trouble house that we had where it was being occupied by uh, homeless, you know, drug users. Mm-hmm. And what they would do is that they would basically set up needles use needles mm. so as soon as you come in the house they're either going to hit you with one or you're going to step uh, on one. You got so, HIV. and i'm like uh oh, no nah, if i get stuck with a needle i'm going to fuck off but <laughs> right oh you know what is your typical day like you're not jumping over fences every no day. so what's your normal day that like? that thing that? where everybody's like oh yeah they're chasing after somebody that's probably about five percent of our job right 90% of our job, 95, the other 95% is us actually answering calls for service um, that are not really in a crazy, crazy setting. They're usually, hey, what's going on? Tell me what happened. Um, now, I'm in the detective bureau, so I'm actually dealing with more violent people than I'm dealing with the people on a regular day basis to where I'm sitting there taking the report, getting their information. Hey, I'm going to pass this off to a detective. Now I'm the detective receiving that report, and now I'm going out there and I'm catching the assholes as they would say but you know it is what it is so um, my day to day is a lot different from that of a regular officer who's getting in a car loading up and hitting the street so I come to the bureau I get to wear jeans so um, it's, it's actually inside. pretty relaxing yeah, yeah. so um, we're actually out there on the street um, doing a lot of stuff so I can't really say a whole lot of what we do because yeah. Of the unit itself. They on but. Facebook looking at your, <laughs> looking at your page. Watching your <laughs> Instagram while you're doing dumb right, shit. Right, exactly. <laughs> anyway, uh, uh, so why did you agree to speak with us today? And is there anything that you wanted to say or that you feel that people need to hear about what's going on today and how they should be interacting with their local law enforcement? So I decided to, to come on this today because I wanted to give the perspective of not only a police officer, but a black man. And putting those in one and how I have to deal with those guys that say, oh, I'm a fucking Uncle Tom or something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I honestly get that more than, oh, that's a piece of shit black person that's under that's beneath me. Mm-hmm. Right. Um, so I get the Uncle Tom more than I get that. Um, if you won't hear, this might have been the fuck 12 episode. <laughs> <laughs> it might have been. No, you did a good job. I'm joking. Yeah, I'm um, joking. yeah especially like for me, because it is, for me, it is kind of like fuck 12 unless I see that 12 is with me. If y'all with me, then it's not fuck 12. But if you're not, then it's fuck 12. Mm. Yeah. So um, the message that I, I, I probably would leave is that, so for Virginia Beach, right, mm-hmm. um, Channing fuck 12. Okay. Um, oh, he's about to be serious. He's like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure. Uh-huh. So, Let me tell up. you so, about this. So, this so, is fuck 12. <laughs> so, no, no, no. So Virginia Beach be everybody says fuck 12, right, mm-hmm. in Virginia Beach. So you Beach. need them. Okay. Mm-hmm. So they want to say we're racist, we're, we're this, we're that. But we weren't that on the tragedy of May, tw- May, May 31st. Right. Right. We weren't going through the building. Oh, this guy's white. 
Let me walk right past. Oh, this yeah. guy's black. Let me walk past yeah. him. No, at that point, we were saving people that we could. Um, we're not. We're also not Minneapolis. We're not the officers that killed George Floyd. True. We are not the ones that were standing there when it happened. We are True. other officers in different cities and different departments that are trying to just do our job. But at the end of the day, we still don't speak up for the other officers that have been killed since the rioting and looting has started. Um, and since these peace, these protests have turned into something that's violent because of someone else's agenda. Right. So the, the 24-year-old female black officer that was killed in Indianapolis, who was a mother, um, no one said anything about her name. Yeah. Right. Um, what is the black that? officer in Atlanta that was ran over by an ATV during mm. a protest. Uh, he's in the hospital in critical condition. And then, the, the, I mean, the list goes on. Right. Um, right. I don't know if you heard about the 77-year-old retired oh, yeah. police chief. Oh, yeah. And shot killed. killed protecting yeah. his pawn shop. Mm -hmm. That was what he built. And he got killed just either one for protecting it or one because he used to wear a uniform. Right. Just because I wear a uniform does not mean that changes me as a human. Yes, I have my daily duties that I have to, to, to fulfill and have to overcome, but that doesn't mean you can't sit there and have a conversation with me as to what the hell is going on. Right. I personally, I'm not going to hide anything because I don't have anything to hide. Mm -hmm. You know, most officers can say that. You know, and the ones that don't, like the ones in Minneapolis that didn't speak up or didn't take their foot off of someone's neck or ne their knee off of someone's neck, those are the officers that are making it harder for us mm -hmm. good cops to do our job. Right. And the mm -hmm. ones that don't speak up are soiling the uniform just as much as he is. Mm -hmm. So I speak up for the shit that shouldn't happen in the department. You know, I propose change, but, you know, mm -hmm. I am only one person and there are a lot of people above me with a lot higher pay grades. So unfortunately, sometimes, you know, we can only do so much. But at the end of the day, it's always about seeing the officers that are doing the good that can change your perspective of a police officer. And at the end of the day, if you're not a shithead and you want to become a police officer, you can affect change that way, too. Mm -hmm. I think and discretion is the word. We all just want discretion. Speaking to the mic, Chris. Yeah, I, think, really. I think we all just want discretion. Nobody wants to be generalized. Cops, civilians, black mm -hmm. men. Exactly. Yeah. exactly. Everybody so, doesn't want to be generalized. So that's one thing. That's one argument I also, I also you know, propose is that you know, you're saying, oh, yeah, fuck 12, fuck all these people. You're generalizing us into one category. Like, we're yeah. all bad. That's like me saying, oh, fuck all black people, fuck all white people, all these other people, just because your skin color is different from mine or your profession is different from mine. If, if that were the case, I'd be like, oh, fuck every C CEO for making more money than I do. Mm. Damn. No, mm. I don't do that because guess what? You're a human being. You have your choices. You have your 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 positives you have your negatives everyone has them no one's perfect and so i'm not going to treat you like I i'm going to treat a janitor like i would a ceo so mm -hmm. i'm going to treat every citizen like i would treat the janitor and i treat the janitor with the utmost respect because that that at the end of the day that person is cleaning up after everybody else yep very well said. Mm -hmm. And I think we can all agree when I say fuck racism and systemic exactly. racism. Oh, well, I had, I had one more question. I don't know. Yeah, of course. We definitely appreciate it, brother. Oh, I have one more question. Go ahead. What? I, I, I believe that. I, I believe, no, I believe. I Chris killing my production. <laughs> <laughs> I saw them, but I don't know. the information out. Production. <laughs> God damn it. Yeah. Well, so now it's funny. It's important. Put them in your own people. You see, we're trying to put on a show here. My bad. I'll ask them off camera. I'll ask them off camera. I, th I believe black people need their own police force. How important do you think it is that our that black officers like yourself are zoned in places that are predominantly black? How do you, how important do you think that? Chasing people so, in the streets, and now you want to ask him. To <laughs> unfortunately, that's a lot harder to do because mm -hmm. if you think about the profession overall, y'all need more numbers. What you're gonna look, what you're gonna see, if you paint a picture of every single officer in a every single officer around the globe, mm -hmm. it's gonna be a white male. True. Majority of police officers are gonna be white males. Okay, so to sit there and say we need more black officers in black communities, well, we need more black officers in general. Yeah. 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 So if we want to affect that change and not have, you know, oh, I don't want a white cop pulling me over or I don't want, 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 want the white cop responding to my case, then we need more black people to be police officers. Right. I agree. And most people are like, they don't want to do it because they're like, oh, I don't want to become an Uncle Tom. I don't want to become a coon. I don't want to do this. I don't want to yeah. do that. I don't want to yeah. sell out. 
no, it's not selling out. It's making a difference. Yeah. It's making that change. That's how you literally for not only your yourself but other people in your community. Right. Yeah. Very well said. Very question. Yeah. You know, it was like. Oh. All right. Want to well, hold up your rest of your day, man? We appreciate right. y'all coming out. I can talk all day. Thank you so much. Yeah. Appreciate you, man. We yeah, praying for you too, bro. Of course. Yeah. Yeah. Appreciate it. I appreciate Everybody it. Um, just want to make it home. Congrats yeah. again on the baby. Thank that's you. Beautiful name. Noel. Noel. Oh, that's hard too. Okay. It is. I like that. Yeah. Congrats. Well, we we thought about it for a minute, and I was like, all right. All right. We did not think about it for a minute. <laughs> we had Sienna like off the rip. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was like, who's the first Who's taking credit? I don't know who came up with it. That seemed like more oh, she she it. that that look. Oh, okay. She was hey, like, uh, I came up with that. I said, what about Sienna? Okay. He said, I like that. It stuck. It's you. Him, the two middle names. That's all him. Okay. Oh, okay. okay. Which people name, thought that Andy. was me Compromise. being extra, having two middle names. It's Compromise. Him. Two fine. middle names, just definitely that rich stuff. No, bro, it's that's not. definitely. Not. No, it's not. Say her name, bro. Say her whole name. Say her whole name. Sienna, Alyssa, Elizabeth, rich. McCord. She rich. My daughter's gonna be on Stormy North. Noel, Imani, Houston. Oh, it's hard too. I like it. Look at that. Like it. So nobody, nobody, nobody. What you got? Kennedy Reese Featherston. I mean, no, your baby to come. All right, man. Let's let Chris get out here so we can finish the rest of the. We appreciate you, bro. Thanks, no problem. Still aiming for the top. Know I had to get it on my own, nigga. I didn't really came up off the block. I'm always subtle. What are y'all talking about? You're not always subtle. Everything about me is subtle. You're not always subtle. I wear a name so brand clothes every week and none of them have the brand on it. <laughs> <laughs> he said you're like an urban dare. I'm done. I would be a water bear. You want to start the guy? You're like, you're not going to make a block off, boy. I so. Shout out to John Elliott. He's cool. He's <laughs> <laughs> fire. They are now. I like him. I like him, see? Get on my nuts. Y'all killing me, man. <laughs> this nigga got your Calabasas socks. I'm done. Anyway. Oh, Is that Rob shit. Kardashian? No. I'm Kanye. Yeah. No, I'm Kanye. Did y'all see that meme? Hey. Y'all need to apologize to Kanye. <laughs> Why? I need to apologize. I'm not apologizing. He was acting a damn fool. <laughs> anyway, any all right, we back. Not part two. We back. Shout out to Officer Drew that came through. Yes, we appreciate him. Drew Houston. We needed that. Praying for him. Pray for him. I was Pray for your black uh, here, cops, right. man. Pray for your black cops. Um, he said Oh, he did, didn't he? No, he said it after we was done. We talking about and baby he names. Also gave the full name of his baby. That's that one of the things I hated done. about Queen and Slim. I hated that when a little black boy shot that black cop. I was like, what the fuck? All right, guys. How y'all feel about them removing the Confederate statues across the nation? <laughs> y'all go. Y'all, y'all go. It's about time. Thank you. No. Step number one. No. Step number Leave it. One. We need to know where the fuck this country stands. That is the dumbest shit I ever heard, Chris. I argued with somebody last night about it. We need no. to know where this country stands, man. So if they just start hanging swastikas and yeah, Adolf Hitler statues so everywhere. You know yeah, you don't know? Stands, you didn't know? Well, we didn't ever have to have it posted. So, no, no, because we was talking about this last night, and mm-hmm. somebody said... They they get up more upset about seeing somebody wave the Confederate flag then. than the statues, or you just don't care either way. Because they don't know the real history. No no no. Oh, she nef- this person we talking about definitely knows the real yeah, history. Yeah we uh, we all in this room know the history. Well, so we're gonna prosecute everybody that flies a Confederate flag. Yeah. I'm saying, are you cool with it? Because if somebody had a swastika in front of their crib, like Jewish people are not going for that. For ages. Well, what we going to do? It's freedom. Okay, we got to figure out where we want to stay in this country. If it's freedom of speech and y'all get to practice y'all freedom of speech, why can't other people? Oh, I actually this morning said I'm more with somebody. If they're not it. coming on my lawn and putting their hands on me, what's the problem? Well, where is this thing at? At a public place? Like that's that's what I was saying. I'm yeah. more cool with it. If you waving it at your house, that's, that's a better that's argument. That's a better argument. But, but if you, you gonna have a big ass statue yeah, that's a better argument. that was like yeah. cool and fighting for the slaves, I'm wrong. See, that's that. why that's why I side with you. That's why I side with you. All right, then, cool. then we agree. No. You yeah, said don't. You said leave it up for the history. I'm just saying, like, but this country, you gotta understand what this country built on. Sorry. What we were talking over each other. Right. Oh my bad. Honestly, though, the people that have the Confederate flag and shit in their yard. I don't know if y'all think about this, but I get, well, one, I don't want to go over there. Like, I'm not going to walk past your damn lawn. But also, those be the ones that be making the policies. So, fuck them. Like, those be the ones. Yeah, I'm not saying not fuck them. I'm just saying, like, they have the right to express what they want to express. And I'm saying, you ain't going to Germany and seeing none of that shit. And I'm saying... (laughs) <laughs> Everything probably needs to be reformed. You can't have rules Everything. from 1800 still in place today. That's just not going to serve no more. You can't even have rules from the 1940s. Yeah, and it's just a loser's flag. It all got to be revamped. It's just a loser's flag. Y'all lost. Y'all lost. And they still winning. Go ahead, they lost. Like, then they made the policy. Go ahead, rep your loser exactly. gang, man. Go ahead. They still kind of winning. 
on military installations you can't have it um on your you can't have it on a bumper sticker you can't take it on there so that makes i sense. mean it is like freedom of speech like i get what you're saying about like taking that away if you say that you can't use it but I mean, I think on your, you know, home and stuff like that. But now, if you wear any of those uniforms, you can't even have that shit yeah. on your car. Mm-hmm. You're one of them. The revolution is upon us. When the it NFL is the greater, it's called the awakening. Up. It's called the awakening. The NFL but is. Do y'all feel like these these companies are truly <laughs> with us, or do y'all feel like they're trying to protect their dollar? No. A lot of them are trying to protect the dollar, and mm-hmm. some of them are really, really for the movement. But at the same time, I think that that's a start for them to try to understand, mm-hmm. like yeah. what is going on. Because I mean. I, I just feel like black people shouldn't get complacent with these white companies exactly. coming to I our aid. We still need, need, need action, action not, not apologies. I'm just saying, I just hope we don't. It's good that they're coming to our aid. That's great. But we still need to build our own. We still need to keep our eyes on the ball. Because you could apologize don't. without saying I was wrong. Right. The NFL yeah. said I was wrong. That's we was awesome. wrong for I mean, no I don't already. know how they don't. How they, like all your players are mostly yeah, black. Yeah, but Fuck. they were still getting but off with that. But this is the biggest, yeah, the, because this they is the biggest movement, a lot of, you really don't have a, a lot of them do not have a choice. Yeah, I'm with bullying them and saying whatever. Them. We all know that. And the <laughs> yeah. second I'm black British. people realize that, that they is when turn. stuff will change. Look, we all know that. When I turn on my game, oh, shit. Call of Duty says oh, yeah, Call of Duty was like Black, black Lives, Lives Matter. Matter. Yeah, he God said that this damn. morning. Damn, I, 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 I just want to let you know bro. how much buying power we really you had. You got on yeah. Apple and it was like, yo, we stand with our. You better stand. Amazon saying the same shit. I was like. It's great. We, I, I don't think black people are in a place to be petty about support. We need all the support we can get, but in that same breath, we need to keep our eye on the ball. Yeah, but and you we have need to, make to form sure it's our real own. support. Because just saying, "Oh, I'm with you," mm-hmm. doesn't really show me. That? I need you to say that, yeah, and yeah. I need you to it's follow it up with it's some protest. Like that, that, you got to follow that yeah. monument in D.C. Like somebody spray paint on that shit. This monument ain't doing shit. It ain't. Oh, I saw that. The little street ain't doing shit. So I'm with that. I'm with that. Like, but I think black people just need to keep their eye on the ball. Just keep the momentum. Just keep their foot on our foot on their neck. Your apology no doesn't do And white people are like taking, no taking over. Damn, Chris. Most of the protests. No, we're going to put a foot back on there. It's fuck that. Oh, all right. True that? That's not a bad punch. We're going to put it on yeah. forward. Yeah. We're not even going to do it on the back. We're going to do it on the throat. Just yeah. like that. Bacon? Oh, oh my God. This nigga go crazy. Just ate. <laughs> and and Nevada just gave uh, <laughs> 77,000 plus felons the right to vote. Yeah. Even though y'all don't care about voting. Bro. I need I agree. I mean, you shouldn't just be wiped out because you got a felony. Like, mm, you, you'll tactic, never though. get the vote. Yeah, that's it is a tactic. a tactic. It's a tactic about something yeah. that y'all say don't matter. I believe voting matters, but it shouldn't be the only component. We've stressed that. Well, we focused stru- strictly on the vote, and it didn't get us anywhere. We need to focus on the vote. We need to focus on guns. We need to focus on independence. We need to focus on all this shit at the same fucking time. All of it. Can you the dollar, all of it. Who said we That's only focus on voting? Focus, though. What? what? Well, well, he just was well, saying. Well, well, well. No, 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 no. I'm saying, like, fruit. In People my talk about voting like it's the only thing. This is Chris, gonna save I didn't us. even say voting a damn thing yet. I didn't say anything yet. Shut up. You said we need to focus on this. We need to focus on that. We need to focus on this. How can you really say you're focusing when you're spread so many different directions? What is first? We have a lot of work to do. Yeah, it ain't going to be first, one. It's not gonna, It's not a one fix. The it's word not a, focus, in my mind, means I'm putting my energy at one thing. Right? I can't focus on 12 things at the same time. That's not so focus. But that's the life of a woman in general. You focus on cooking. You focus on your child. You focus on your job. What's the difference? You say you're multifaceted. You can multitask. We need to multitask. He never talks into the mic. We do. We need to multitask. We the people. I think black people in general, we want to cry so much because we're scared of accountability. We don't want to take accountability for our communities because that means we have to do the work. So we want to cry all day, okay. but we don't run our communities because we don't run. Right. Thank you. That's why I can't. That's why I say it goes all. I believe you're right. He did say that. We all need to come. To, it all needs to come together, bro. You can't like, drop one though. That's what I'm saying. That's, that's no, what I'm I be saying. You. I'm with you. Y'all be like, we got to do this, this, and this, and this, and then you don't vote. So you did all I'm that for nothing because you didn't affect the, the one way to legislatively change it. I'm with he you. He said yours first. Yeah. I'm just I'm saying. No, I'm with you. So next time I ask if y'all voted and everybody in here, I'm kicking you off the show. Well, that's the prerequisite. I'm with you. Hey, like, I'm with you, bro. I'm with you. I just think it just that's a component. I just it's I a lot of white people in the street. Really, I, they sound like they with us. I think that's a key component too. Not only that, you got to get involved. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna sign up with the NAACP. I am too. You have to get Which involved. You got to run for city I gotta council. I got to buy this furniture and stuff, but I'm gonna get the I'm gonna get the high dollar. Who? 
No, I said you. Yeah, like y'all. Casey, good Casey run for city council. Um, I don't think niggas is. Let Dean run for city council. I would. Hey, bro, I can see. I can see. I him would. Doing that shit. I'd probably lose. My work life balance is Why really is not even right now. Because I have a lot of shit going. Yeah, yeah. Okay. That's, that's a big. You never know. You never know. You never know. You never know. That's a big commitment. I don't like people trying to check me on my commitments to other people outside of me. Then be like, I got my own money. I don't need you paying me. But when you see somebody actually trying, you just got to make sure that you support the agenda. And whoever Mm -hmm. does it has to have a solid one and be 100% committed to that. Just looking at the next black person saying, hey, well, why don't you do it? Well, why don't the person who asking, why don't you do it? Why the hell don't you do it? Hello? Don't ask nobody. I mean, what are you doing? But just like he said, like, you know, there's, you know, people want black cops in these communities. Mm -hmm. Yeah, How many gotta, black people you see yeah. going to the police academy? Flood, okay. Flooded. Yeah. Not, but I've heard that, I've heard from other black people that it's harder for them to get in. I wanted sure. that. I should have. I'm sure that's true. That. But yeah, when you start black trying to be, penetrate the system and change it from the inside, it's, gonna be it's a buck. different. It's yeah. going to be a lot of changes from here on out. Hey, if black so. boy, black change. teenager, black young man, if you aspire to be a cop, go do it, man. Go do it. He said his life was changed. We need by people. His we need people like that. Police judges, but that's why I asked if it's somebody lawyers, in your community to make that happen. District mm-hmm. attorneys. Yeah. We need all of that. Especially yeah. them be- and the the um, what's the um the other ones? What the public the public um public defense, defense attorney. attorney. They don't make no money. They, they don't, don't make, make any money, and that's why a lot of people don't want to do it. But that is where a lot of Oh, Young black that. people go to jail because they don't have the proper yeah, uh, representation. Yeah, so stuff like too. that, oh, yeah. you have to do that I because agree. you genuinely care. want to and you genuinely yeah. care. And then you work up to that. Yeah. A lot of people don't want to put in that much work and dedicate that much of their time to reading all of those documents, going into those courtrooms, defending these people, and really putting their energy and effort into cases because they're not getting any money for it. Or, or two we could change the policy proactive. and pay these niggas, and then a public that defender would too. be the worst. Yeah, yeah, we got to feel all holes. That's the real answer. Exactly. I gotta say that black porn no shit. We gotta fill all rich holes. What? Yeah. All the of black it. Black Christopher. Some porn hub shit. Christopher. We gotta fill all the voids, all the holes. I want him to leave. Fam. We gotta fill ear, ear holes, nostrils, mouth. What? Oh yeah. Asshole. Keep protesting across the globe. Keep the momentum. <laughs> keep the drive. Keep, keep it. Keep, keep it. fucking up shit, but not the black businesses. Fuck up the other. Go buy you a gun. You don't gotta fuck up nothing. Or just. Don't you got any other questions on this side, bro? No, I mean, yeah, like, y'all got something. We're going we gonna to get back to some fun, fun stuff. <laughs> We're going to get back to some fun stuff. Where do I want to start? All right. This is a good question. Start? <laughs> do you guys, like with me, I have a certain level of... Well, I'm going I'm to do my explanation later, but okay. do you guys trust your friends around your significant other, a uh, significant other when you're not around? Well, we just talked. Yeah, because I don't really I have no friends. So I trust my I trust one them. best friend. That's my it? One best friend. I would trust her. But she also I trusts me. I trust my mate. Around her dude. Like, she could leave the room. She could go run to the store. Like, mm-hmm. she, I want her nigga. Like, I know that she would reciprocate that with me as well as she has done in the past. So mm-hmm. I'm too old for that. Yeah. Um, I trust my man. So, but I trust else? him around anybody. Fuck no, anybody else? No, thank you. What? Anybody else? I'm not leaving you with my nigga. Your friend, then. Girl, then that's not your nigga. That's, exactly. Yeah. He's, He's not your friends. Yeah. He's not yeah. your nigga. The proof is in the pudding. If if you can't trust your friend around your partner, that ain't your friend. And that ain't your partner. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Anybody too. I call my friend that yeah, too. Yeah, yeah. We chilling. Don't even it's like <laughs> don't even sit too close to me. What it's you tears. Doing? Well, I got some friends that I don't yeah, question talk, at all. Okay. Right, right. It's almost like it's almost like I mean, would you, you just fu- had this conversation. Yeah, I just <laughs> had this conversation with him. I don't not trust So what y'all, what y'all doing if y'all uh y'all y'all man's girl come on to y'all? What y'all doing? Mm-hmm. That's what I'm about to say. Which yeah, man's is it though? Well, go back to the tears. <laughs> no, no, no. He said no. this before though. You said this yeah. before. Because it's like, yo, would he fuck my girl? Exactly. It's some niggas that would fuck your girl. That's you why know I they said would. I trust Sage. Okay, so give me the tears. What's the tears? It's tears. I got friends that like that's my brother. Give me the that color code. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's, that's my real friend. friend. And it's got you got niggas that like if I left the room and Caitlyn was in here, they'd be like, what's up, man? You know what I mean? That's he might we might be cool. He's an associate. Sound the alarm if that happens. He she would. Be in here, though. No, yeah. huh, but she would. I, you, we've he all had know friends. that, but that doesn't mean we've that a nigga would try. We've friends yeah. or associates or somebody that you've been around that's hollered at your girl, tried to holler at your girl. He's not if saying you're doing that what it, you're would, to, it she will be successful, you. but it but still will happen. But then it's also a tear nigga like, if his girl came on to me and that's not my man's, and I'm like, well, yeah, would he fuck my girl? I'm that's, girl. that's your first thing you mm-hmm. going to ask? Yes. No, what I'm not going to ask. It's a self-assessment. Okay, okay, I was going to say. Yeah, like, would he be down my joint if it was the other way around? 
I don't know. Maybe men are a little more grimy with that than women. Definitely. I definitely don't think so. Do that shit too, man. They I've do? heard stories. Yeah, like yeah I definitely. You know and I've PC? definitely fucked a friend of a girl. Tell. Don't do that. Yo, lying. We tell what? We could tell which bitch will try and get with your nigga. It be in her. It be all in her eyeballs. It be all in her forehead. Mm-hmm. Like, oh, he a good man. Damn, you know, you know, you girls, oh yeah, good one. Girls done told all the good shit. I know who y'all hanging with. He do that. He do this. He do that. Girls be like, oh damn, he do all this. He buy you all this. He treats you like this. I tell him all the time. It's some people who's like, some of them may genuinely be his friends, and some of them who may have had a thing for him in the past. I tell him this all the time. Some of them are still, they don't really fuck with what you got going on. They don't really support it for real. Blind, but they pretending like they're friends because if something happens and they think that they, they can take body. him, they think that they're, he's going to do the same shit for them that he nobody would do can, they for want me. Your body. And there's also, not a single your, person. They want your not a single person. Let me piggyback off that. Girls think a lot that of women because think that. he did it for her, he going to do it for mm-hmm. you. That's what I'm if saying. If a man will do for me, he'll never do for you. That's so why don't, married don't men get all the play. Married That's men, and men in relationships because yes. it shows they can commit. They show they, they can commit to something. It's the same. It's the same thing as with a successful. Y'all can't be out here messing with no married to a goal people. and achieve something. Same thing. Y'all don't be out here messing with these married sense. men and these married women. Just find somebody else, okay? Yeah. Please. Please. Married women, Not the married sure. people and the people yeah. in relationships. That's Just stop doing stepping doing outside because then they wouldn't have no reason to. You gotta be <laughs> messing with somebody married is completely. You gotta be ready to like lightweight die for that. So y'all just leave married people. Okay, so y'all, y'all. You said lightweight die. Yeah, people like are, y'all, die or kill. Um, yeah. are y'all the more the soul the type? If your friend does something with your significant other, are you more so the type to just dead them, or y'all we scrapping? Fuck we, both we, of we, we talking Fuck Both of them. Both of them. They want my friend to begin with. Yeah. What you say, Ave? So they want my friend to begin with. Him or her? Yeah. So we scrapping? We scrapping then? It's like me and you. If, do no, you consider Chris. me? If you consider me a friend, and I try to talk to your significant other, we scrapping, or are you just dead in it? I'm just dead in it. I'm not fine. I'm definitely telling. Damn, Chris is better looking than me. You got it. <laughs> I'm definitely He's a model. What you doing? He's a model. What you, what you doing? What? Stop. Me right now. No. no, I'm not in song. No, no, you said you would fight a wolf. You're going to fight that bitch, too. I don't have those issues. Those people are not. I don't. I yeah, that is true. That is true. fight a wolf. Listen, I have you don't fight a wolf. I have been pulled up on with a dog and a two year old and a three year old. Dog, <laughs> whatever it was. It wasn't episode. an option to run his mouth. you going to fight a great day? I'm gonna fight whatever I have to oh, fight. I'm gonna fight a great name. Or are you See, gonna fight that girl, girl if you try to push up? Girl, I'm not fighting life. no bitches over no niggas. Sorry, that's, that's how I feel. catch I me 20 no. years ago. Like I'm too old. I wouldn't like, do it please. then. I'm like, dang, that's crazy. I don't think I've no, I've never fought over a girl and use that story when I'm talking to the next one. I know. If you I can pull it, you can have it. Me and Demon talked about this. If you can pull it, you can have it. Facts. Only one incident that this happened, but there was a girl that pulled the girl. No, I couldn't pull up. He do got a mic. I moved the but mic. But we didn't check his ass, babe. No. <laughs> <laughs> I gave him the mic. I'm glad you said so. It's he don't like it. the whole time. Oh, yeah. oh well, check, cut it on. Cut, cut it on. So hey, okay, I ain't gonna lie. I hey, did have to pull up on him, somebody bro. one time. Smack him. So we can I was married on Avery Farrakhan. I had to pull up on this girl. I had to go to her house. It was a whole other difference. Yeah, I'm not doing all that. I would love to I was married. Casey in the pull up. You don't want to see me in the pull up. Like, you don't want to see me in the pull up. I don't see This is a room full of people who are with that shit. Have y'all, okay, have y'all ever had to pull up? I just told you I did. No, I know you, I know you have these other people in here. I'm pulling up if you disrespect my girl. I'm not pulling up if you. Try to holler. Yeah. Like, yeah. Okay. General, I'm like, not pulling up on no girl that that tried to talk to talk to him. If he, you know, handled it the way he was supposed to, my beef is not with him. With her. Yeah, I had a shorty try to a shorty pulled up on me in my trash mode the other day. Mm. Old old flame kind of shit. Mm. I looked up. I was like, oh damn. She was like, what you doing? I was like, I just finished running. She's like, oh, should she go run tomorrow? It's not a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> what did you say? That's exactly what I said. It's not a good, it's idea. Not a good is, idea. Is saying I have a girl. Like leaving that out? No, no, no. I said I followed up when I was like, yo, I'm, I'm with somebody. Oh, okay. So what if he had said to all the it's slimy like, should your girl be upset about you that? Do not if you did not state that say? explicitly, you're slimy. I don't if think that's if always. If you don't directly mention me, you're slimy. I might feel, I might feel a little bit. Exactly. I'm never going to know this conversation happened. Like, I don't care. You're slimy. <laughs> what so happened bothered. in front of him? And I just point to him and be like, that's not Yeah, but that's a way. I was there. Yeah, that's a direct. I don't care, I knew he was going to holler at her before she came outside. I believe that. I watched it happen. see that shit before y'all. A lot of times the shit y'all see before we see is the same thing for y'all. We'll see this shit before y'all see it. We were like, these niggas plotting. Yeah. You see it. They plot. Yeah. They're going to come up in about five minutes. Even if I wasn't here, you're getting curved, bro. Man, that battle look crazy. Yeah, yeah, I already know, man. Saying. But still, if you don't state it, you're slimy. True. True. Yeah, you got to let it be known. Facts. 
I don't feel like you gotta protect your Is that your the karma. first sentence? You gotta protect I got a girl. That sounds crazy. I got a girl. Come on. Look, it needs to be in the top three. Look, it needs to be in the top three. But what, what conversation are you having? That's None. I got a girl. I got a girl. Yeah. Right here. Top three sentences. Oh top three sentences. I don't know where we are anymore. Come out the lake like Jason. I'm shook. Talk about a run. Yeah. The fuck? Mm-hmm. Better run your ass down the street. I'm done. Where are we right now? So you're not going. All these are random. So if all another girl invites you to go out for a run, you not doing it? Nah, it's nah, inappropriate? Nah, 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 nah. He said old flame. Oh, that thing committed, committed. That's nice. Honestly, I believe in karma now. That's right. I, I cheated before and I felt that call. Oh, that's the karma for when I did that shit. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Two years later. <laughs> Damn. I only ever cheated time. on girls that cheated on me. I never cheat on you. Oh, you think so you real cheat back. Like, oh, you know, I was going to get so I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you. You think that you all the high school, middle school stuff. This was you think you're the only one that can get sex. Okay. No, man. Yeah, I was young. He probably sat there and was like, it's okay. I forgive you. And then when everything's good, go cheat. Guys, I was young. What you talking about, Coach? Why are you stuttering? What you talking about? That's the whole I'm tired of it. I've That's never cheated on anybody. Yeah, what situation like that? Like, what's your situation? What situation? Is that what he said? <laughs> what happened? Girl, I'm I'm too, I was, bro. You don't gotta get nervous. You can speak free. He's a free man. I, <laughs> the only person I ever cheated on cheated on me first. And this, uh, this and is I, all before I, I was still, 21. And I actually. still held it down. It went for, it went for another... A year or two later, and I still man. Oh, you, I got, cheated, you got the I petty cheated, bones. I got forgiven, in you. then I got cheated on. So I was on the other side of that shit. Mm. You really only cheating yourself. Stop cheating. Right. That's, 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 that's just the leave. Yeah. I was young. I'm trying to tell you, this was like high school. Yeah, that don't count. This yeah, is, yeah. This as, an adult, adult, though, as an adult, though, as an adult, though, it's yeah, different. As an adult, yeah. 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 you like yeah. very yeah. intentional. I could be on, very on, petty. On, on. All that shit already oh. happened to me. So how how much does that matter to y'all? Because we're all like upper twenties, thirty. How much does high school shit matter, y'all? None. I was at Chipotle the other day, and this nigga was talking to me like, "Yo, you remember from middle school?" And I was like, "I wanted to tell him get the fuck out my face." Yeah, I know. I'm just talking about relationship wise. I don't even like when oh. people ask me what school I went to. It doesn't fucking matter. I'm not in school anymore. And the relationship I had in high school, high school is trivial to me. Yeah. I'm like, exactly. I'm the same. Oh, segue, God. So some people <laughs> cheat, right? Some people cheat, obviously. Okay. But some people will be like, their reason for cheating is that they didn't have enough sex. Mm. So how many times y'all fucking? First of all, that's the dumbest reason to cheat on. Whatever. Now, I do. I do think this is a very good question. Go ahead, y'all. Thank you. Which one? I don't have a number per se. I just think it shouldn't be a lot of days y'all go without doing it. Right. So if it's like the third day and y'all ain't really did it, you need to make it happen between like three, <laughs> four days without no interaction. To me, that's too long. That's do y'all long. subscribe to cutthroat tactics? Like as far as like, yo, like if I if I want to fuck and I tell you, that? no, if what? I want to fuck, <laughs> what? If, I, if I enjoy having sex okay, and I tell you, babe, we not having sex like that. How long y'all waiting before y'all just cut ties before cheating? Oh, I'm gonna try to work on it. Oh, you mean like? That's what I'm saying. Like, how long are you gonna try to work on it without no result? You and you're not having sex. You're asking me how long can we not have sex before? Yeah, I, uh, cut it off? because I believe now in my at age thirty, I believe before you go cheat, you should just break up with the person. Yeah, 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 for, for sure. sure. For so sure. if we go, you would kind of be seen as like, yo, that's irrational. Fifty episodes in, you still can't speak. You gonna break up with her? If we go a month without fucking. Somebody don't like somebody. Yeah, somebody you don't like me, or I don't like you. Or something. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, that's different. Well, I'll speak on that. It's different for me because I've been in that situation, and okay. I'm not the most emotionally touchy yeah, feel type of person. I'm not. And this, you gotta I've be emotional. Kind of, get your he's dick way not, different. But it's not even. It's like even a. It's like hey, even get a sex shit thing, off. Though. No, it's not even a sex thing though. Like I've had a conversation. She was like, "You don't touch me. You don't do this enough." I'm like, "I'm just not me. I'm not." Like, I literally got to be in the mood, and it's not really a... Abe said, are we cuddle me fucking? No, he's not saying Ain't no that. <laughs> that's what he's he not saying that. Wow. Wow. Abe hey, got some if different... cuddling, I'm going in. ...beliefs on that. I just don't think it should be longer than three days. Damn! You working, now, ain't you? I said you fooling. Like, I three days is too long. He's tired. That nigga is tired. He's tired at all. He's tired. Look at him. He's He's tired. Y'all are crazy. I would say four days. Four three, days. Four days. I'm, like, oh. I'm with y'all. I'm with y'all. I'm like four I don't days. I think it's a number. I don't, I don't really have four a number. Four days. I'm yeah, I don't my have ass a number. It's just like you know. It's like, just like you know, know when it's yeah, like, you know yeah, when it's yeah, like, like, you know when it's yeah. you know. Nah, we go four days without fucking. I'm picking everything. So you think there's an under you think you think you think there's an underlying issue when you? I feel like when you do stuff like that, sex is kind of more than. I'm not putting no number on how often we have when we feel like it. 
when you, you know, that's what I'm saying. That's why I asked Some days you might get it popping like 10 times that day. Yeah. yeah. Or twice. No, I believe sex is a fruit. It speaks to how y'all relationship is going. Like, if y'all fucking frequently, that means the relationship is going moderately, moderately well. Right. I don't, I don't, I don't know. gauge that off that. I do. I feel like sex is the result. Like, when y'all have a good bond, a you've good been bond, with a girl that she was fucking a lot, but you didn't like that bitch. That's true. When you're in a relationship, is different. That's like, true. we know everything about each other now. You sound like yeah. when you're in That's why that girl thought y'all was going to be in a relationship, because you was... talking about, like, but when you're just talking about just one-offs, like, a girl is all physical. Like, I'm just looking at your fat ass, and That's I want to fuck. one-off. What if she was with me all day? <laughs> all three days yeah, in a row. See, now she what, think I, we together. Now she think we together. I'm done. But that's one thing I did not dabble in. We fuck, leave. Damn. Y'all out here like that? If we not if on the verge of being in a relationship and she just a one off fuck, we not doing, doing it chilling all day shit. You know, sometimes that be fun exactly. to chill with. No, nah, gotta chill with somebody that's fun to chill with. Nah, I'm cool. I, I've had that. It, no, but I'm saying if she's fun to chill with, I've already prospected her. I think men, you gotta be careful with that though, because it's easy to slide into a relationship with somebody. I mean, I'm not doing it. It's not that easy. It has happened to me, but it's not that easy. Girls, because girls start expecting more because of the signs, and guys aren't really paying attention to how that looks to a woman. So she starts. Starts wanting more, fade away. and he's not really ready to I give it, the and then you get in that uh, situation. If you sit there and tell somebody up front, I'm not ready to be in a relationship, and they keep. But if you're doing it. relationship right. shit, you should yeah. check yourself. I don't even if know what that means. What is relationship shit? Taking her to meet Bro. your mama. You pillow talking. I'm meeting your family. Yeah, picking up her kids from school. If we're in the bed, pillow talking is not relationship stuff. Picking up her son from school. Pillow talking is pillow talking is straight relationship. Oh, can we vote on that? Is pillow talk relationship? Relationship shit, yes or no? Yes. No. Yes. 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 No. Yeah. What? That means you pillow, pillow talk with everybody, baby. Pillow talk is low key dry snitching. What? Who are you snitching on? When you're what laying you down in bed, everything? if you're, you're laying fighting in that person while laying yeah. down in bed at the most intimate time yeah. of the day, yeah. that's that's yeah. very why is that the most intimate time of the day? And, and I think the you're ending you're your day and you're beginning your day. This nigga ice cold over here. What's wrong with you? No, he's not. It's shit. You do shit. You do it so much that you don't you don't have no boundaries. Dima, low key snowman, are you? I'm dead. Well, I don't know what y'all talking about. You young Jesus? George Gerber. You do got a No, ball that sounds like you can do relationship shit with everybody. And then it's not special. Just because you do it's something with somebody, it's not relationship man. shit. Everybody always wants to. So then, how do you differentiate when you in a. So then what's the difference in being in a relationship been... and not if, if you do the same shit with everybody? Girl, yeah. Ooh, how you make her feel Ooh, special, bro? Valid. Oh, look, she almost fell because yeah. the, <laughs> the Lord was like, first of all, now? you're not going to talk to him like that. <laughs> what? How you make her feel special? No, I didn't say that at all. I'm what? just saying no, I'm for, saying, somebody, no, I'm saying for, for somebody who doesn't see it like that, it's like, okay, well, then what was the difference? Because girls think if a nigga go with you somewhere tropical, y'all... No, I just wanted to go somewhere tropical, and I decided to go with you. So when you take her, no, 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 I'm I'm vouching for them. What he is? I'm vouching for them. You saying that chick is an essential item? Because you Thank taking you. her overseas. You yeah, but some niggas do that. That's what yeah, some niggas no, do. Man. Some sometimes niggas you just don't. Niggas is corny. No, I mean, I've done it. You don't. Sometimes you just want to go somewhere and be. You don't want to go dolo. I've also gone. Nah. I've also gone dolo. Even if I had the bread, nah. I'm not taking no basic I broad across these. Before I, yeah. No, it ain't no basic. He, you choose carefully who you because you got you if had I a roster. You single, with ten yes? people and I pay for everybody. What does that mean? Different areas. Like no. If you did that shit with like five different girls and then they know like okay this is something Dean does regularly. Then okay, because a lot of guys do do that. They like, nah, I'm flying you out. I'm going here. Do but if you've done it with one or two females, if you've done it with one or two females, you pick careful. Because you, I'm just what? saying, you don't know how many people I've been on trips with. You know, and them girls know, and so that's all that matters. If we're gonna put a number to it, like, I'm just saying, we need that. I'm one of Chris getting left hanging. Oh, let's not do that, man. So, <laughs> so what is relationship shit then? I for don't you? like y'all labeling that. It's what is it? Damn, you've been asked that question. Like when you're in a relationship, because I don't, I don't label. Oh, shit. we did this, so that's relationship shit. Okay, what about meeting your family? That's definitely we all agree relationship. Yeah, that's relationship thing. shit. Okay. okay, what else? Yeah, well, I'm just that's probably about it. That's not. Yeah, that's he didn't, he didn't say yeah, that. Yeah, so the question is, what is relationship shit? What makes it I a difference between shit, when you're it, with somebody real, and that's that's YouTube channel, man. <laughs> 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 that's relationship shit. What? That's relationship shit. 
That is <laughs> <laughs> not a YouTube channel. But you can't answer the question. Subscribe to relationships. For him, it's not. That is relationship. It wasn't the trip. He started a whole company with you. Like girls, like oh, he bought me a purse. That don't make us in a relationship. Thank you, but some girls think that, Lydia. That's ridiculous. When you say relationship, you talking about an exclusive relationship? Yeah. Yeah. Not a relationship to me. This my nigga that I let hit me and he take me places and buy me shit and that's oh then maybe that's what y'all talking about then okay but that's not what I'm talking about. He's talking about in his exclusive friend. This is my girlfriend relationship. Okay. How do y'all signify a person being your man or your woman outside of just saying it? Outside of saying it? Yeah. No, you need to say we it. We signify or no, they No, I understand it. you should say it. You should be like, yo, do you want to be in a relationship with me? Yes or no? Outside of that, how do you signify a if person? If I'm having sex your... with you, we go together. Uh, false. False. Super false. 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 I know that's false. Speak for yourself, Lucy Goosey. You Very have false. Sex with me, so right here. <laughs> Ain't shit uh, loose about this together. right okay, here, okay? If I, put this, if I put this pussy on the microphone, I will break it. Lydia. How do you convey that message uh, that you're my man? Uh, like, how do you show that? Me? Okay. If you're my nigga, you're yeah, going to meet my mom. To get up. Okay, so me You're going to meet my grandma, which That's is the exclusive. scariest shit in the world, to okay. meet Francine Johnson okay, and right. Albert Johnson. Say your name. Okay? That's how you know you're my nigga. Okay. Okay? Or, like, I think that's that's the most serious one. You got the one. cushion chair. All right, you meet her grandma, y'all together. Okay. If you meet my grandma, I don't like, want to ask everybody that's that, fucking serious. Uh, you do it with me, y'all together. Like, you meet my parents. Yeah, that's some... Yeah. Um... Everybody don't get to meet my mom. Everybody don't get to be mm -hmm. around my family. I'm not taking every girl to like every family function. Like that's not happening. But after that, I don't be so talking then about it's only if either. they meet your family or yeah, you start a YouTube I, with them. Y'all put too much value on that yeah. other shit. Yeah, y'all put way too much value on YouTube channel. It's a big commitment. Y'all put way too much value on that other shit. that don't mean that. You could go anywhere with anybody at any time. Somebody could go somewhere and tell you they're going this place and they went that place with somebody else. Make sure you do shit with people and it's special and they're not just doing it just for the hell of it because clearly a lot of niggas is out here doing that. Ooh, spicy. Oh, wait a minute. I, if we I plan, had, I had black wait, man. Tell me, I got tell me, you know you tell me if it's a difference. Know, it's no, tell he's saying that you do that you just no, because and no. it doesn't mean that you're I'm in a relationship. I so I'm just saying. I do. No, no, I'm, I'm saying for a woman who misinterprets it. I'm saying something different. I'm saying is there a difference between like you said, you you got you going on a trip. You ask the bitch to come with you. Whoever. It doesn't matter. It's not that big a deal. Not whoever, maybe, but you know, who, whoever he is. Right? Is there a difference between that and, and then you, you smack two people planning a trip yeah, together? Them two that's people different. probably. I mean, planning just, a trip together, I think, is relationship shit. Because a lot of women misinterpret it and they look at it and then they start expecting more. So I'm saying for women, if that's something that you care about or something that's going to make you feel special, make sure you do it with somebody that you actually want to do it with, not just for the hell of it. And don't, it, you know, because then you might expect something that they're not willing to give. Right, but it's that's all I'm saying. Trip and just being invited to a trip. That's up to you could be friends and going on a trip together, and y'all could still go and smash yeah. while y'all on the trip, and y'all still planned it. So I don't really think that makes a difference. If I send my money on different. you, if we plan I it together, thank you. I think that's if I send my money on a dude, like I take you somewhere and I'm buying you things and I'm buying you like a trip, and mm -hmm. I, then and and we're having sex. First, we having sex. Then I'm sending my money. Well, we together. <laughs> hey, so yeah, right. You a flu out of dude? All the time. Wow. How do they do that every week? How do you think this? What how do they? You ain't fine, boy. Wait, hold up. I was about to say, hold up. Hold up, bro. Wait, 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 wait a minute. I'm gonna be. Hold this nigga. What are you talking about? Yeah, but like, you got I was about to say, when you talking about flying out, planning trips, it's different when it's like a group setting or it's like it's dolo. Because when I first started traveling with her, we wasn't together. You know, but so nothing like, changed except that we wasn't having sex. But like, that's what I'm saying though. It's like, you got Abe's face. I still feel like, like I still feel like Koi like trap. I mean, I feel like Casey got you. She, yeah, she, man. She pimped you. She, yeah, man. I don't pimp him. If yeah. anything, no, I'm, I'm not saying like I that. I spoiled this but nigga. You ran game. You I didn't like, run oh no game. You gonna fly him out. Yeah. You gonna fall. For that's it. not even know what happened. Like, he gonna fall. Man, get him together, babe. That's not what happened. Koi was like, she won't even date him. She won't even date him. What is she doing to me? She won't even date him. Hey, she was in Bayman. Now, hell no, I'm not going to be on that. She was really doing cool. She was really doing cool. I wasn't, it wasn't, guys. I will, I will say that the group trip, you got it's different than if you 
I wasn't talking if, about if Dolo. If don't nobody know if like if yeah, y'all should be going yeah, Dolo, like it's just, some people about. like to disguise yeah. true intentions under a damn group trip. Thank yeah. you. Chris. I'm gonna get you in that room by myself Thank you, Chris. eventually. God damn, whoop on whoop. Thank you. Like, <laughs> come on, man. Niggas yeah. do be doing it. They yeah, do come that. on, man. What are y'all That's saying? That's why I don't. I listen. I mean, but, but I, I guess the girl's intentions shit. are. I don't even. She perceived a different. Wait, you know what niggas do? You know what niggas do? That's how. That's how I know. I got you. You think it's friendly? Okay. And it'll be like all the niggas have had a, a meeting beforehand, right? And they decided <laughs> that this is a group girl, thing. Girl, you don't be that. Hey. No, no, shut up, shut up, right? shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. It's a disguise because all the other niggas just going to fade away. They're just going to disappear and just leave you with that nigga. Like, all of a sudden, y'all going to be alone together. It was a plot. It was a plan. Friendly shit. I've seen a lot of groups have these little cabin trips and all this shit. I ain't Everybody just disappeared. Where the fuck they go? having fun. Y'all don't record shit after 9 p.m. I know what the fuck going on. Equal niggas, equal amount of men and women on the way. trip. Yeah, yeah right now. Nah, nah, nah. Y'all break off. Y'all break yeah, off. Come on, man. Yeah, y'all break off. You gotta watch that. When your girl is talking about a girl's trip and some niggas might be coming. Yeah, let me know the ratios real quick. Cause there's gonna be one nigga left out. He gonna be trying to get with you. Let me let me see that. Let me see what that one is. Nah. Y'all, y'all. So what are yours? Mine is I don't take money from you. You get I'll give you some of my money and we having sex. Those are my three. As far as trips? No. Anything. No, what like makes, if I take relationship money from you, shit. If I take money from you, we're together. If I'm having sex with you, we're together. No. If I'm going on the trip with you, I done spent girls, plenty of money on girls that I have. We're men. We have to. Okay, so what's relationship shit? For yeah, Chris? what's for you? For me? Me to your daughter? I'm a girl. Oh, no. That's no, marriage shit. Exactly. Okay, okay. So if you meet her, you know I'm thinking about marrying you. But um, me and my parents, yeah, it's definitely relationship shit. Um, yeah, nowadays, nowadays, I'm not even gonna lie. I'm not gonna say sex is relationship shit. I've had sex with plenty of girls that I, at this age, I, I, I never relationship, like, relationship shit. Okay, so give us something else. Um, relationship shit. Me and my daughter's a, a higher degree. Um, you keep, he's, you, you keep he's like, gonna say what I do. I'm buying you gifts. A lot of things. Okay. Yeah, I'm not buying exclusive gifts for you. He's not yeah, doing definitely, it. What's exclusive? I respect that. Like, I'm, not buying no, I'm not buying gifts. You know what's an underrated <laughs> relationship <laughs> thing? My dick is a prize, too, so I'm not, count, I'm not counting your vagina. I'm not counting your vagina. I'm undervaluing my dick. Oh, okay. We're not profiting out your vagina. Okay. Under, okay. No, no, that's what I'm saying, because we, 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 we profit out vagina. I gave you my dick. You okay. came. I made sure you came. Okay. <laughs> what? Um, <laughs> so we even. What we even killed her. No, nah, we even killed her. No, a lot of people, a lot of people, a lot of niggas do that shit. You gave me your vagina, so I'm a, no. I gave you my dick too. That's all y'all got, though. Okay, Chris. See, that, but see, there's not a lot of things that are exclusively relationship shit. Y'all was all you gave me was pussy, and I'm oh, looking yeah, no, no, like no, no. That's that's all you gave me was pussy. You know what's underrated? Or not underrated at all. That's I think the wrong word. Doing completely. too much stuff with y'all. If y'all Something don't have that, that, that I consider that's relationship special, shit. That's special to somebody you yeah. in a relationship yeah. with. Yeah. You giving away too much. Yeah, yeah. That shit's I'm disgusting. That. Or for I'm the sorry. ladies, for the ladies, what is the thing that if a nigga does, you're about to be like head over heels. Like if he does shit. this one thing, be loyal. Yeah, thank you. There time. shouldn't be no thing he can do no, that no, just no, makes you head over heels. Thank That's you. why none of that shit we talk it about all has relationship to be conveyed shit. in time. Time has to tell everything. Thank you. Well, no, girls fall for too much shit. We just can no, do but every girl has a hill. thing that's like, if this nigga does this one thing for me without me prompting it at it's all, I'm going to but like Lydia, it. should never be one thing. No, I'm gonna like. Shut up! I'm gonna like him more. That's how y'all get got. Stupid. We can, I think I can write a poem it in 15 minutes. It is a process. Minutes. No there should not to be me at all. one thing. No, 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 no one is listening to me. You. Can none of y'all hear me? I think Finish it's your question. for me the little things. Thank you. Like that add up, what yes. It it's a process. Over time, like that's what I'm saying. Sausage, that's like. Okay. But the little things is a plural No, my thing, thing <laughs> it's not it's a process. It it's a couple add, of things. It's a group of things that add up. If We're trying to give y'all game. Y'all can't fall for that just one thing. Only a woman can give y'all game. Shut up. She won't done. Go ahead. That wasn't done. Oh, oh my God. God. I'm saying there are certain things that girls like that if you do this thing, she's going to like you more. For example, with me, if you wash my hair, Ew. it's through. Right? Ron tried to do if that. If you wash my hair, <laughs> Ron tried to do like that. if we're in the shower out. together, he tried right? to take and you wash my hair. How you like, know he won't go wash it? I, That's your Jason's lyric. Bro, she done. Oh you touch my scalp? Right? Oh my God. You ever had a nigga wash your hair? In the shower? Kadeem got to say, he got a bald head. So Come like, on. Like, 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 nigga, you too. You trying to steal his flex. You trying to steal his flex. What's your other one? I've been getting a little cut. I don't flex. I don't go for a bald head. I'm on the All right, guys. We better wrap this bitch up. Y'all are all over the place. I don't know where we at right now. This shit crazy. 
Y'all basically had nothing though. Real talk. Y'all didn't really yeah, have no. Real I said what things. I said. I, that, I, you said the family. It's just not a lot of exclusive stuff it's with really guys. Everybody always want just, everything to be all like exclusive. No that's more. not. That not shit no don't create longevity. What y'all talking about? But I think, I think that's the problem. first time yeah, stuff with people no, that you share not. together. It that doesn't. Oh, we having our first kid. That doesn't guarantee longevity in our relationship. No, but I said exclusivity. It don't matter. It may. It means more. It means more. What you doing with somebody that you're really with and somebody that you're really not. I feel like that's the problem with sure. every, I feel like that's the problem with everybody. Both sexes, that's the problem. We're doing, we doing too much. We're doing too much. Man, you gotta live life. Um, it's a lot of things out here, baby. People doing too much. Cause it's like, bro. Some niggas out here ain't doing enough. And that's, that's why, why there might be a lot of insecurity in relationships. I'm not, cause I'm not about shit, to, you doing the same thing. Right. Thank you. I'm not about to like invest See, And if that's what makes somebody energy insecure though, then what are you, you paying attention to? Or be vulnerable with you. Or be like, be honest with your ass. I think time tells all though. I think you can't argue with time. If I've been down with you for this amount of time, you can't argue with time ever. That don't yeah, matter either. Because there's a lot of women in 13-year yeah. relationships with no ring, with Facts. six kids, with what somebody. Is a ring? Oh, hell. We can I'm talk about saying. that too. We can talk about that on a different He's episode. A separate episode. No, a ring, ring signifies That's a separate forever. episode. So if I've been giving you my 13 years, that means I'm on the road to giving you forever. No. What is no. a ring? No. Hold up. Let me. No. no. It doesn't. A ring is just a paper. A ring is just a piece of paper and a fucking ring. That's it. That's why a lot of niggas give rings and then they end up cheating. I'm not talking about I'm talking about time. been loyal to for 13 years and give you a ring. Time. What would you rather those have? Those niggas will still cheat. You act no, like that I, doesn't you happen. Didn't, you didn't no, listen, listen. listen. No, no, that's for a nigga that's been loyal to you for 13 years and didn't give you he a ring. He wants loyal. What's the say? No, no, no. If he's loyal, what? no, literally, look, look, let's say. They're all putting he's with, no, 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 for real. I'm about to ask a question if y'all shut up. Okay, go ahead. Somebody's with you for 10 years, never cheated. Y'all got a family. He take care of you. Everything. He's doing all the things he's supposed to do, but you're not married. Or 10 years with a nigga, he might cheat on you. Y'all got married, y'all got all this other shit. Which one is a better situation? I'd rather be with the nigga that was loyal for me for 10 years, but if it's important to me to get married, why it won't no you marry blood. me? Why no will blood. you not marry women me? Women have been raised, married. no, women, women have been married. raised and conditioned to grow up, to be married, to, to raise family. Right. Men are not raised, and that is not in their mentality to grow up and to do the thing, to the same married. thing, and for that to be the end goal. So I don't really see, I don't, I don't really see that going anywhere, because women are literally told this is what you are supposed to do. Why? This is how it's supposed to be. That's from from forever ago. Why? Forever ago. Well, people were getting married Period. before. They were marrying they were off married little off. girls because you yeah. had to be married as a woman. Period. Yeah. It's history. Yeah. Exactly. That was a, you that's were, all it is. Yeah, that's that's all it is. Y'all were property then. You were something that's that the dad was like, yo. Is it not still in history where women still are raised to, to be, be married? Wives, yes. To be mothers. Men are mother. not raised to be husbands. Y'all are talking about history, and before it was like, yo, and fathers. I'm y'all are figuring that shit out now because they got this, and we got that, and we're gonna put our families together. Like, it had nothing to do with none of the shit y'all talking about. Okay. Okay. That's about loyalty and love, and it was hold on, business. Hold on, hold on, hold on, That's true. That What's is your history. definition of marriage? There's two different definitions for marriage in this world. What's your definition of marriage? Which one do you subscribe for the oh, most? Which one do you subscribe to the most? The covenant before God or the business merger? Marriage. Is your commitment to me? Fuck all that other stuff. Ten years of me being want, with you is my commitment. I to decide. That's a marriage. No, no, no. I'm going to decide in my mind what I think that commitment looks in like. History, For me, that no looks decisions. like we're getting married on paper. That's what it means to me. <clears throat> to me, your commitment to me, and by com to you're not committed until you have signed that fucking paper. That's business. That's. Well, whatever. So I then, think about if that's the case, then are me and Caitlyn really in a relationship? And if you're with me, if you're with me, and that's how I feel. Common law marriage. If you're with me and you know that's how I feel, then you should marry me if you want me to stay around. Period. Don't stay. If that's how I feel and you love me, we got four minutes. Gotta wrap it up. Then you need to show that to me <laughs> however the fuck can I we, need it to be shown because that's my love language. I agree that men and women do view marriage differently. That's obvious, that's mm -hmm. right? It's a reason for that, guys. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. You got anything you want to say? We got four minutes. The camera's going to be I view marriage as a covenant before God. If I talked to God already and told him I'm going to dedicate my life to this woman, and I told her that. She ain't flying for that one, bro. Ain't no she proof. Not, but we don't just, know. That, what's the... Women don't know that proof. It's like, what's the fucking matter? How much well, proof? No, Lydia, I'm not no it's plenty of niggas in the world that talk to God about some shit. They'll cheat on you and then say, I'll talk to God. There's plenty of niggas that have signed that paper and that will divorce you. And, and that's not, that's There's not. no right Lydia. answer because niggas ain't shit. Let's not touch on the 75% of women file for divorce. 75% of divorces lie on y'all. Yeah, on y'all. You niggas did some fuck shit. Yeah, I gotta agree with that. Sorry, Chris. Thank you. I've been married for 10 years, so I'm not just, my definition is a little bit different. Fuck shit. That's not always true either, but all right. <laughs> okay, y'all.
I asked why. You, you didn't get marriages in the room. <laughs> She's probably longer than mine, but we got two different. Oh, you were two different too. destinies. Yeah, yeah. Bro. Two different destinies. Yeah, but well, they both ended and they're up both divorce, very so real. You can say that. I believe. I would believe that God shit from you. I would believe it from you. It, here's the thing. I'm you say it, I made ways, a covenant I'm before God. I believe it from you. But, but, you, can't but you can't say that it's not mad niggas in the world. You're not going to find that. So. You can't say it's not mad niggas in the world that won't just use that. Because they have used that from the beginning of time. Oh, I talked to God and, and he told me to do this. Da, 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 in the beginning of the time, oh, they, they wanted you because you had another land. Thank you. So they did what they wanted because they literally could. They could do whatever they wanted. And yeah. that so still stands. The men are still doing that in a way, the same way that women are still expecting to be married. I don't know. Period. It's still Back it's then, still you didn't history, divorce me and get half my shit. And it has not shit. been been stopped. <laughs> Back then, Stuff if you divorced me, you didn't get anything. Stuff you is went changing, off with the kids. But those principles are still wife. there. But still we only there. got two, what, like a minute and some change. Yeah, go ahead, got to wrap it up. I'm sorry. Um, we don't got enough time to do the one. Got to go. I don't want to disrespect Will, Denzel, or Sam Jack. We're giving them a minute and a half of this. Yeah, we'll, what about we'll, you we'll already got your over. answer? We're rolling. Nah, it's, it's not yeah. enough time. Right. We're going to roll it Thanks, guys. We're going to make sure we got a good show for y'all next week. I think we got a guest. That's next yeah. week. Yeah, yawn. Yeah, that is next week. Yep. Got a guest next week, but we're going to have a fun show. Uh, like, subscribe, hit the bell. Ding. Make sure you fucking with relation ish over there. Mm-hmm. We're going to talk about marriage. Join our episodes. Patreon. Get subscribe real. to us on Twitter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All that stuff. Yeah. And we out. Hop, scotch, and all over these niggas Kick rocks, baby, let me count my figures You know I'ma deliver Every single time I'm a long-term winner You couldn't survive in a stone-cold blizzard Daddy need his north face or a new 